love to make a video explaining the ocean tides in 60 seconds. Unfortunately, I think that would leave out too many important aspects of the explanation. I will attempt to give you the shortest explanation I can manage. I will leave out further details which I will explain in later videos. The ocean water levels on our coastlines go up and down, mainly due to gravitational attraction by the moon and the sun. Here I will explain the gravitational attraction by the moon. The gravitational effects by the sun are similar, although some 50% weaker. For thousands of years, many coastal populations have noticed that the high tides keep a timetable which corresponds with the appearance of the moon. This correctly made them think that the moon has something to do with the ocean tides. The moon forms our tides in a band between 55 and 65 degrees of latitude in the southern hemisphere. Contrary to popular belief, the water doesn't rise because water is being pulled upwards because that would mean that the gravitational attraction of the moon would overcome Earth's gravity, which is at least 10 million times more powerful anywhere on the Earth's surface. Tidal rise in the oceans occurs because the almost negligible attractions accumulate into a pressure which is not negligible. It's this pressure which moves the water upwards against Earth's gravity, not the attractions in itself. This is why the southern oceans are the only place on Earth where the initial tidal rise can form. The pressure gradients are so small that they attempt to push the water into a bulge. But they only succeed noticeably in a band where a bulge can form without being disturbed by land masses and unfavorable fluid mechanics. It's like pushing an elephant on a swing with very little force available. It will be very hard to get the elephant going. But once it is swinging, you will only need very little force to keep it going. Consequently, the only coastal populations who see a direct tide when the moon passes overhead are the populations living on coastlines adjacent to this band. The rest of us see a delayed effect. If this delayed effect, the water rising, happens to coincide with the passage of the moon overhead, it is merely that, a coincidence. This delayed effect is still a very powerful phenomenon though. As small as the tidal rise in the southern oceans is, it is still an enormous volume of raised water, containing a lot of potential energy. It is important to realize that a forward moving wave does not mean forward moving water. The moon's gravity is not propelling water forward by 1000 kilometers an hour. It's just the shape of the wave that's moving forward by that speed. That means though that there is raised water after the moon has passed overhead. This raised water behaves like any other wave. It starts going down and transfers its energy to adjacent water. This spread of energy doesn't just follow the moon. Attractive forces caused by the moon's gravitational attraction do cause this bulge to form, but the bulge, once it's formed, isn't being pulled forward by the moon like by some giant magnet. It moves governed by the fluid mechanics which apply to any mass of raised water. Its formation may be tied to the moon, but its behavior isn't. Like any wave, it will also round corners and move off in other directions. And this is what causes the tidal ranges we see in our oceans north of the 55-65 degree band. The tides in separate basins, like the Mediterranean Sea, the Caspian Sea, Lake Michigan and the Baltic Sea, are another matter altogether, although they are governed by the same cause and the same fluid mechanics. After this wave moves off in different directions, the moon no longer has any significant influence on its behavior. It's the potential energy already contained in this raised water volume which causes the tidal effects on our coastlines. As it makes its way around the oceans, it gets squeezed between continents, up shallowing ocean floors, sometimes into narrowing bays and even into rivers. Depending on local characteristics, this gives us tides which vary from almost unobservable to very impressive. But the upward pull by the moon's gravitational attraction has as good as nothing to do with it anymore.